In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Arc Trooper Lambent Seeker from the Battlefront 2 game. <laughs> Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video. Now as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Arc Trooper Lambent Seeker. Now this is the third and final of the ARC Troopers that I have to review. I've reviewed the two already, so if you haven't checked out those reviews, they are already on the channel. Now this one was left till last because I managed to acquire it last. The other two I got at the same time, and for one reason or another, this one came a bit later. But I think we're possibly leaving the best till last. This is, I think this is my favorite. It's between this one and the Umbra Operative anyway. I love the black and the orange of that guy, but this guy with the lime green, he looks really, really good, especially on card. Look at that card back, really, really nice. So let's get a closer look at that card back and the image that they've chosen there, really, really good. That looks like Camino in the background, doesn't it? Um, all the cloning stations and what have you, that looks, that looks awesome. And as I said, I just love the lime green that they've used, especially on the figure, on his armor there on the helmet looks really, really cool. Now, as we know, this is a straight repack of all the other ARC Troopers that we've got. I kind of like them though. I think they're a cool figure, but yeah, I'm not too sure if I'd want them to make too many more of them, but I think the three that we've got in this little mini series of Battlefront 2 skins, if you like, is pretty awesome. And you know, you can't be a clone. So there he is in the packaging. He is VC 236 in the line. And he is on the thicker cardstock, and this one looks like a pretty good one, even though we're going to open it. Now, of course, there is lots of talk at the moment about plastic free packaging and things like that. And whether you're a loose or a carded collector, things like this paint job have got to be concerning for me. Because even if you, say, had two of these, one to open and one to keep carded, for example, with whatever packaging choice they go for, but you can't see the figure. How do you know which one is going to be the best one to open to have in your collection? And you'll see in a minute when I get the figure out that the paint for the ammo pouch has bled ever so slightly onto his armor, which isn't a massive thing, of course, but if it was a more of an obvious paint error and you opened your figure because you couldn't see it on the card and you didn't know which one to open out of the two that you've got, or if you've managed to find them on the pegs, if you can't see the figure, how are you supposed to know? how good the paint apps are inside. And that for me is a huge, huge problem. But we'll take a closer look at the figure now when we open him up and let's have a look. All right then, so here he is, nice and close up and yeah, fantastic looking figure. Loads of detail on these ARC Troopers. The armor looks fantastic. Love all the bits and bobs that you get with them, all the straps and the holsters and all the ammo packs, the pauldrons, the armor, everything about them is super, super cool. Now this is what I was talking about, the paint work. So I don't know if you can just see that. You can just see the black paint has like bled on to his armor, which as I say, you know, I've seen worse paint jobs, but this is what I'm sort of talking about, as I mentioned earlier, about not being able to see the figure, you know, especially with human heads and stuff, with eyes and lips, which aren't sort of level or in line and things like that. It's, 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 it is a problem and I, I would like to hear how they're going to resolve that. Maybe they just need to up their game massively when it comes to paint apps and quality control. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see what happens with that anyway. Um, you can see that I've got his two pistols in his holsters and he's holding onto the uh, smaller of the blasters. Now that blaster does actually fit into the backpack if you wanted to. However, the larger rifle doesn't. But what I've done is I've just sort of positioned that behind the backpack there just so it looks like he's got that held in place there. I think that looks pretty cool behind his head. You can just see it poking over his head there and hanging hanging down there. I think that looks pretty cool. It's, it's a way of sort of having all of his accessories on the figure. Looks really, really good. Of course, he does have the same head sculpt as all of the others. There you go, fantastic. Love the head sculpts for these clones. Really, really good. Now let's just put the helmet back on because what I wanted to do was get all three in a line uh, so you can see them all together. These are the three that we've got from Battlefront 2, all three ARC Troopers, and they look pretty awesome together. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which one's your favorite out of the three? Uh, never mind the car backs, just in terms of the figure and the paintwork on the figures and the you know their sort of style of armor. Let, let me know which is your favorite. I, I think I'm going towards this guy, I think. 
I don't know, I like that neon green. I think he's pretty cool. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. It means a great deal to me, so thank you for that support. And if you are a channel member, don't forget to use the new custom emojis within the comments. So thank you so much to everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we shall see you on the next one. Thank you.